Hi everyone, today's cards feature a beautiful new product featured in Spellbinder's Serenade of Autumn collection. The foiled vellum 6x6 paper pad has three different designs. There are two of each included in the package and they are gorgeous and I have a simple way of coloring them. I'm working with a combination of the Arteza and Zig Real Brush water pens. I've pulled from both sets because what I was after was a certain combination of colors. The panels have already been cut using the notched corner frames die set. The leafy panel that I'm working on now is being done up in four different shades of green and green blue. The foiling on the panel resists the ink so this is very fast coloring. Because the vellum is transparent, I found it distracting to work directly on my work surface with those grid lines, so I've popped my panel on some white cardstock. One of the considerations when choosing a medium to work with when coloring vellum is that moisture will cause it to warp. That is one of the reasons why I'm just doing some straight coloring and I'm not working with my water brush pen to pull the color out. The florals that are on this panel are large and I did want to have a gradient. So I achieved that by working with a dark fuchsia near the base of all of the flower petals and then blended it out with a soft pink to the petals edge. After coloring each of the panels, I did have a little bit of warping. This was easily remedied. I simply took my panels and put them under some weight for about a half an hour. I could have avoided any warping at all by working with alcohol markers, but I really liked the softness of the watercolor pens on the vellum. And as long as you're not adding too much moisture, the warping is minimal and, as I said, is easily fixed by popping some weight on it. And while I'm flattening my panels out, I prepare my sentiments for the card. I'm working with everyday sentiments and I've die cut each word three times and I'm stacking them. Two of the panels will be done up in white frames with white sentiments and then the third panel with black sentiments and a black frame. All of the cards are going to be put together in the same way so I'll just show the one with the black frame because it is easiest to see. The same notch corner frame that was used to cut the panels was used in conjunction with the next smallest frame die taped together and then it was used to die cut a frame out of black cardstock and black sheet foam. Double sided tape is applied to both the foam and the cardstock frame. First attaching the panel to the cardstock frame and I take off just some of the backing paper line up my panel and then work my way around removing the backing paper and laying the panel down. It would have been much easier if I was able to use liquid adhesive. However, the liquid adhesive will cause rippling on the vellum. Double-sided tape is a strong adhesive. The good thing about working with vellum on it is that there is a little bit of leeway time and you can lift it and reposition it. While obviously I can't use the double-sided tape on the sentiment, so I apply the liquid adhesive and then I tap it off on some scrap paper so I'm left with just a very thin layer before positioning it on the panel. This worked very well and there were no adverse effects on the vellum. And you may have noticed that the sentiment went on before the panel went on the foam frame so that I would have a flat surface to press the sentiment onto. Sometimes when foam is die cut and it goes through the die cutter, it will stretch a bit and that was definitely the case with the frame. So I've cut it in half. 
So there was a real benefit to doing it this way. It was super easy to align it to the edge of the panel and to avoid having things sticking all over the place, I do not remove all of the backing paper at once. The second half of the frame is adhered to the other side of the panel just at the top. The two pieces on either side will overlap. I use my scissors, just snip it off and then they will lay end to end. So why am I even bothering putting this on a foam frame? I find that when vellum lays flat against cardstock, it has a completely different look than if it is slightly elevated. When the vellum is sitting above the cardstock, it has an airier, softer look to it. Now I can use my liquid adhesive on the foam frame. This panel is going to be going on to a black card base. So I'm first going to attach it to a white panel that was cut with the same notch corner frame die that I used to cut the vellum panel from. For the cards with the white frames, I just attached them directly to the card base. After this panel was adhered to the card base, even though I did some trimming, I could still see a little bit of the white panel. I took a black Copic marker and ran it around the edge and it completely disappeared and you would never know. The cards were embellished with either white iridescent or gold confetti, which was topped up with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew, giving them a beautiful jewel-like effect. And that completes the soft and airy cards featuring Spellbinders Foiled Vellum 6x6 Paper Pad. The designs are gorgeous and it is super fast and easy to color them with water-based pens. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I appreciate your visit.